G'day YouTubers. You probably all noticed by now that I've got a split system in my boat. I have a Hummingbird and a Raymarine MFDs. I've gone into the reasoning behind that in a different video, so if you're interested, you can have a look at the video on the Raymarine Autopilot, the review video, not the original. But anyway, having a Hummingbird unit in here, I wanted to put the NMEA data up on it. The Yamaha engines are on the NMEA bus, the fuel tank sensor, the Raymarine autopilot is there, so it's heading sensor. I had hoped that the Raymarine GPS sensor would output its data on the bus, but apparently it doesn't. I did also have this vague hope that the Raymarine autopilot would be available on the bus and recognisable by the Hummingbird. There are some units where different manufacturers' autopilots will work and be recognised, but no one had any information on whether the Hummingbird could see the Raymarine unit. As it turns out, it can't, which is a bit disappointing, but nevertheless, I did want the other information available on the MFD. Anyway, that's a long-winded explanation about a very short video of fitting this into the boat and what I get out of it. And let's roll the clip. That's the Hummingbird unit that converts between NMEA 2000 and Ethernet for the Hummingbird. Good boy. Huge compared to the little Raymarine unit up in there that converts, but it's going from NME 2000 to the SeaTalk NG. Might not be as much electronics involved. Still, that does seem like an awfully bulky unit for what it does. I'll have to zip tie that somewhere because I'm running out of space to actually mount things in here. I'll work something out. I'll just take you in to see where I mounted these. You won't recognise it. I don't lead you in here under the steering and up in under the gunnels. There's the Ethernet switch all mounted up there. Everything's plugged into that except the Hummingbird, which I'm still waiting for a lead to connect. And that's the NMEA 2000 converter, just mounted under there. Putting them out here in under the gunnels certainly freed up a lot of room that I was going to use in the area behind the dashboard. If necessary, in the longer term, if I decide that I need more switch panels or fuse panels, I'll at least still have somewhere to put them behind the dashboard. Mounting switches out here on the dashboard might be another matter. But hopefully I don't need any more. A couple of things I would like to be able to turn off independently. If it can't be done, it can't be done at the moment. And the main reason I'm not trying to turn them off independently is just plain and simple a lack of switch panel points or lack of space to put a switch panel. Yeah, that's it. All done. Ready to try out and see if it does what I hope it will do for me. Now that I have it all installed, I've got access to the NMEA data on the Hummingbird unit. I also have access to it on the Raymarine unit, but I use the Raymarine for depth sounder and navigation. I don't really have room to display the engine gauges and such on the Raymarine unit, so I thought it just made sense to have them available on the Hummingbird unit so I can monitor the engine. I only do that while I'm travelling, of course. You'll notice that the Hummingbird unit doesn't show figures for everything, and that's because I don't have sensors for everything. I don't have a water speed sensor, for instance. The GPS gives me the speed over the ground, but speed through the water isn't available, simply because I don't have the sensor for it. Also notice here that on the displays that show heading and course over ground, that they are different. The heading is the way the boat's pointed, the course over the ground is the way the boat is moving and that is influenced by the wind and current as well. Well that's it, it's operational, it does everything that I want it to do. It will read all the information from the autopilot sensor, it gives me the pitch roll, uh, heading, all the rest of that information from the heading sensor. Thank you for watching the video and until next time, good fishing.